I continue, this does void your warranty if you do this, so if you don't want to void your warranty, don't do it. Bloody, 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 you guys all know this. But I am not, I cannot be held responsible for what you do to your Xbox. You want to remove this, this is just a, this is just the eject button, really simple stuff. Pull off the top covering, which does have a metal plate on it, which I pretty sure you can remove for case modding. Come on. Alright. So you just remove that if you want to. I'm going to put it back on after I show you this. No case modding, you know, you would cut in here in this general area, and you don't want to sand any of these pieces. Like you don't want to you don't want to grind down this or this, but you can grind down like all this crap to uh, case mod your your Xbox or not, depending on how you even care. I mean, you can leave these on there and cut it. Depending on just I guess it just depends on what you're gonna do. You know, what? I'll pop this back in. One second, guys. Alright, figured out what I was doing wrong. I was putting it on backwards. So, anyways, uh, now we've got your console. Now, all this is, uh, you know, just normal stuff. I'm, this is this is a recently added piece to it. Like, if you have an older Xbox you've never sent in, you won't see this piece. Um, also, this right now would be a good time to check and see what kind of uh, drive you have so that you know... Uh, you know, like uh, if you can, or how how to uh, how to uh, flash it so that you can play burned games. Mine is a Hitachi, I think. Where does it say? Oh, I think it's a light on. Hello. Yeah, it's a light on. Hello. All right. Cool. So, and I think Ben Q is the really easy one to case mod. The or the, the one to flash. The other kinds like Hitachi and uh, whatever else is there is the are the hard ones. So now, if uh, you've had your Xbox sent in recently, within like past. I don't know, a year, there'll be this thing on here, because this wasn't on here last time I took it apart. And, uh, it's just like a, a foil, piece of foil, uh, tape, and they just put it on there to keep the drive in, probably, once the, probably for put it, when they put it back together, I just pull it off, because it's unnecessary. Now, if you want, you can hold on to this. That way, when you're putting your Xbox back together, you can tape that piece back on. I'm going to save this little piece, and hopefully it'll come in handy. Uh, now, uh, you want to grab your... Actually, let's start with, this. Let's start with the, the drive first. You want to pull out your drive really carefully. I've done this before, so... And then there's just, here, let me show you before I pull them out. There's two wires in the back right here. And two uh, sets of wires actually. You just need to pull them out. And uh, they just, they pop out just like any other wire you would expect. You know, just a little bit of force. You don't want to do it too hard else you could fuck it up. Same thing with this one. It's a little bit easier to get out in my opinion. Now you've got your drive. And, uh... Uh, you want to make sure that none of these clips are bent, like this one's bent down a little bit, just because the Xbox has gone through a lot. I also got a little bit of scratching right there, but no big deal. So now you've got this. Next piece you want to take out is this, which mine just conveniently slides out, and it's full of dust. I should clean this before I put it back together. Remind me, guys. So... Now you want to take out the fan, you just bend 
just clip up a little bit, which the first time is always the hardest. Where is my screwdriver? There it is. Alright. Just take this, put it under there. Spin it up a little bit, pull it forward. And this one didn't go forward. Ah, you whore. This one's the side stuck. One second. So I got, I managed to pull the clip up. I mean, this is just really simple. You just pull it forward, and then there's, oops, there's a uh, there's a set of wires right here. You can just pull those out. Which mine is actually set up differently than other Xboxes. You got to pull forward a clip and then pull it out. This is actually, like I said, first gen, so. Yours will probably be different than this. Uh, it'll probably be a smaller plug. <clears throat> Unless this is the newer fan, then I wouldn't know. <clears throat> okay, so... Now, finally, you get to this part. where You just want to pop this piece off. Set it to the side somewhere. Alright. And then you've got this piece. These take Torx 8 screws, or, or screw, this will take a Torx 8 screwdriver, just uh, use it on those three holes, and you got that piece out. Um, there we go, slowly, slowly catch the monkey. Alright, set this up here, and Two. Finally, number three. Apparently, I broke off a lot of pieces. There's another piece. Huh? I hope that's the same piece. All right. So now you've got this. So you just simply pull it out. I mean, it's nothing big. So now you've got this piece. Now, finally, which now thinking back on it, I probably should have done this first. You want to take out these screws, which I think you want to do these little ones first. Which I will these these eight little ones. I will do these first. Which for some reason. They use machines to do it, and I personally think they do it too tight. And, uh... Oh, man, I should make sure you can see all this. Alright, so it seemed out all the way. So... I won't, I won't show you guys the excruciating process of me taking this off. I will let your imagination figure it out and then I'll show you how to take out the board.